Evolution is a topic that has fascinated scientists and thinkers for centuries. Today, we take a look at the development of evolution theories, starting with two prominent figures in the field, Charles Darwin and Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. Charles Darwin, born in 1809, is widely considered the father of evolutionary theory. His book, On the Origin of Species, published in 1859, revolutionized the scientific community's understanding of the natural world. In this book, Darwin proposed the theory of natural selection, which explained how species adapt and evolve over time. He argued that over generations, certain traits that are advantageous to survival are more likely to be passed down to offspring, while traits that are not helpful gradually disappear. Darwin's theory of natural selection helped explain how different species of animals and plants came to exist in the world, but it was not without its critics. Some religious groups saw Darwin's theory as a direct challenge to the creation story in the Bible. But despite the controversy, Darwin's ideas have stood the test of time. Before Darwin, there was another thinker who proposed a theory of evolution, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. Lamarck, a French naturalist born in 1744, proposed the theory of the inheritance of acquired characteristics. He argued that animals could pass on traits that they acquired during their lifetimes to their offspring. For example, Lamarck believed that giraffes developed long necks over time because they stretched to reach higher leaves to eat, and that trait was then passed down to their offspring. Lamarck's theory was not widely accepted during his time, but it did contribute to the development of evolutionary theory. Today, scientists continue to study evolution and develop new theories based on the latest research. Some scientists are exploring the role of epigenetics in evolution, which refers to changes in gene expression that can be passed down to offspring without altering the DNA sequence. Others are using new technologies like CRISPR to edit genes and study their effects on evolution. And still others are studying how the environment shapes evolution and how different species interact with each other to shape the natural world. Evolution remains a topic of fascination and debate, and as our understanding of the natural world continues to evolve, so too will our theories about how it came to 